Hey guys, this is Brian Sykes with AI Explore and the AI Lab. Adobe has released a number of really cool updates for multiple pieces of their platform. And I wanted to kind of show you like what is new inside of Adobe. So have you seen what's new in Adobe? Let's start with Adobe Firefly. Okay, so Adobe Firefly has just released number three. Firefly 3 brings advancements in more photorealistic quality and greater user control, meaning you'll see better lighting, positioning, attention to detail, advancements to text display, and more. I just want to show you really quickly what this actually looks like. Okay, so first is the photorealistic quality. You may have been able to see where you can take Adobe Firefly and upload uh, a sketch reference and be able to convert that into a photorealistic or a painting style image. And here's an example. So the top image is a quick rough sketch of a watch and below is a render that was created with Adobe Firefly version 3. All right, next is with greater user control, there is what's called a styles adjustment. Now with this, we can adjust the visual intensity of an image. So you'll notice what it says here is adjust the overall intensity of your photo's existing visual characteristics. I've got a simple prompt, a cat sitting by a glass door looking outside. Outside of the door, sitting on the porch is a raccoon looking back at the cat. Both animals are very interested in one another. Now, <laughs> how well it manages this, this is, I call it simple, but it's actually kind of complicated what I'm trying to get it to do, is put an animal on both sides of a door, a glass door at that, looking at each other. Now the interpretation of that and where who goes where, uh, you can see that Firefly isn't perfect at it, uh, but this is kind of a great test to see how well it can understand more complex uh, conversations. So with this one, we've got a heavy visual style that's being applied, and so the visual intensity is very heavy. Here's a couple of those renders zoomed up, and you can see some really interesting things happening here. Okay, now we're gonna take the visual intensity to the midpoint, or 50%. This is the default setting, uh, and you can see the rem renders that have been created by Adobe Firefly. And let's look at a couple of those up close. Again, we're able to see what the with the visual intensity set to 50%, what that does for the image. And finally, we're gonna look at a low visual intensity, and this we're seeing uh, the idea of what this looks like uh, with the images. And so here are a couple of those images picked up, the ones I thought it did the best job with. So we've looked at actually two different things. One is the visual quality that's improved uh, as we go from a referenced sketch image to a photo quality render, and then also looking at the influence of visual intensity of styles. Hey guys, seriously, thanks so much for listening along. If this is the kind of thing that you're interested in, you'd like to have more, and maybe you like my teaching style, I would love to have you to follow along. So be sure and click the subscribe button uh, and like this video. That helps me get more of this out for you guys. Thanks so much, and let's continue on with the lesson. Okay, I wanna help make this make a little more sense. So if you've never played with Adobe Firefly, um, here's your basic setup. So we're inside of Firefly right now. It is a browser accessed application. And inside of here, you'll see that I've already selected Firefly Image 3. Um, this is the, the latest and greatest. And underneath are all the different options that we can use to manipulate our image settings. Okay, so content type, we can choose whether we want it to be art or we want it to be photograph. So I'm gonna leave it at photo and I'm gonna leave it under, under auto mode. Okay, so right now my prompt says a cute fluffy domestic cat sitting by a window in a house, looking outside, reflection in the window. This image here is not my image. This is one that um, Firefly is including just as you open up the application. So this is kind of what you would see when you first jumped in. Next underneath here, you're gonna see what's called structure. Now with structure, we can bring in an outside image and have it applied to what we're trying to create. Okay, so when you saw my watch uh, that was translated into a photorealistic image from a sketch, well, I was able to do that by bringing in a reference image and that's done right here where you'd simply choose to upload an image and you can drop it in place. Next is going to be styles. Okay, styles are things that you can apply to your image that it basically affects the styling of the image and then how it looks. Okay, so refining that, the heavier the styling is, the more influence the style is going to have on the output of the image. 
this might make it look, make a little more sense as far as what we're doing when we're applying the different weights of style. So visual intensity right now is set to in the middle. That's the default setting. We can increase that and we can also increase the strength of the visual intensity applied to our image. Now inside of here, you'll see that there's a lot of different things we can do. First is we can actually bring up a reference image. So if you have a look that you're after and you're excited about, you can apply that look to your image. And you see that there's actually a gallery that we can work with uh, of other images. And inside of here, you've got everything from art styles, landscapes, uh, different types of photo studio images, color and lighting, geometric, all of these things, you can select from those things. And as you make a selection, the selection shows up in your prompt below. So let me scroll up here just a second where it says dramatic lighting. Here's a person sitting in the, the light and shadows. If I click on that, you'll notice that now it says style reference and this has been added to my prompt. So you're able to kind of get an idea of this is the visual, it's gonna use this in the prompt that I'm creating. Okay, I'm gonna go back to what I had before. You can apply multiple things to this. So when you're telling it the style's visual intensity, you're now saying the style references that I put inside of this prompt is going to affect how much is applied to the rendered result. Okay, so we've looked under reference. There's also effects. So underneath here, there's all and then popular movements, themes, techniques, effects, materials, and concepts. All gives you everything, but you'll see all these other options. It basically gives you a summarized collection of the, the ones that are considered favorites. So underneath popular, there's bokeh effect, um, there's digital art, and hyper-realistic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose all. I'm gonna go through and grab a few of these that I think would be really interesting. So, maximalism, that's kind of nice. I'm going to go for, let me scroll on down through here. I don't want digital art because I want it to be more photorealistic. And you see that there's quite a collection of things that you can work with. All right, these are really, really nice. I'm kind of happy with what I've got. I don't know that I need to add anything else. And that's gonna be all the different styles inside of this folder or inside of that collection of things applied to my render. So I'm gonna leave it just like this and say, try prompt. Now, it's gonna process what I've requested of it, and it's using the 50% setting, which was the default, and we can kind of get an idea of what it's gonna create. There we go. So at 50%, we're seeing the effect, these uh, styles applied to my image. Now, let's go ahead and bump it up a little bit. We can look at the details here. These are quite nice images. I really like the little bit of lighting that's happening here with this image, okay? So really of those, this is the only one that actually got the reflection in the window. Uh, this one got a little bit of light value that's happening. And now I'm gonna change the effect here. So visual intensity, I'm gonna go ahead and bump that all the way up. Now this is what's nice with this one is you're no longer stuck with zero, 50 and 100. You can actually go in between. I'm gonna take it all the way up and I'm gonna tell it to generate. Now this should have the strongest effect of those styles being applied to my rendered result. And there we go. All right, those are nice. Um, I found some of these, you get really, really photorealistic images. And then this one here kind of has almost a cartoony um, a Pixar style creation. So with that, because it's applying a heavier visual intensity, it could be pulling from the effects that were applied. Uh, in this case, I have maximalism. Uh, that could have been the element that's actually creating that look. Now we can also take visual intensity all the way down and uh, we can run that. And here we go. This was with the intensity turned all the way down. So we're basically getting the prompt. I'm actually getting more accurate results. I've actually got a cat with a reflection in this window. Cat with a reflection here. Um, so two of these actually got the result that I'm looking for. So playing with the visual intensity can give you a more fine-tuned effect that you're after. So this is basically Firefly 3 and some of the updates that's been applied. Hope you enjoy it.